Good. Did you guys serve sus suspended coffee? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, yeah. Suspended ever, coffee? Yeah, have you ever heard of that? Nope. Okay, alright. That's going around the internet where people say you can get a uh, suspended coffee, but I just went into a Starbucks and they said they don't serve it. Simple as that. I just walk in, ask for a suspended coffee, they say nope and smile, and that's it. Um, it's been going pretty strongly around the internet. It's more of a social movement than it is an actual. Um, practice that's going on it's like somebody's idealistic uh, way of, of promoting a kind of social movement before it even was uh, occurring it's like they make it sound like it was they were revealing a big secret <clears throat> that's been going on for some time but more so I think they were using uh, the internet to just to promote their idea that really hasn't been put into practice instead. So, um, I don't, I don't really believe. You know, I, I kind of believe things like that go on, but not for people that just walk in and ask for a suspended coffee. Um, you know, there's. There, I, I was reading about uh, in the comments how people are saying that uh, one one person would would pay for the next uh, five coffees behind them. Um, or something like that and then the person would go up to the counter and then try to buy and then the barista would say well the guy before you paid for yours and the next couple after you just like that but uh, that's a rare occurrence so they don't uh, they don't really practice it and I question how do they even keep tabs of something like that anyway it's a business and they want to focus on their business dealings to have to uh, also keep a record of of the next f how many free coffees are available is is more work for the baristas than they care to to do okay you don't you want to focus on making a good coffee making a profit uh, keeping everybody in good cheer which is you know contributes to the the good experience but the free coffee thing pays no bills okay it there's there's no there's no financial benefit to it and as a business it makes no economic sense to try to keep tabs of this uh, suspended coffee free coffee uh, promotion that's going on with the internet so just know it's it's more of a hoax I, I tried it here at the local Starbucks and it's just uh, it's it's uh, it's it's entertaining uh, to say the least I mean you can you can think up all kinds of neat create neat ideas I mean uh, out there, there there's all kinds of um, things that are that have potential and possibility uh, but no grounding okay I mean, I didn't hear about suspended coffee till like a, a year ago. Starbucks has been around for a long time. Um, I, I think what they want to do is is push the poor people. I mean, because they're gonna if they start a suspended coffee program, they that's gonna promote poor people to, and homeless and what whatnot to go to Starbucks more often because the word will start getting around. And they don't want to have that reputation of, of attracting homeless. They want high class people who got more money than that. Okay, you push the po the poorer people uh, to beg uh, around the poor districts into the homeless shelters and and uh, just the back alleys of downtown and stuff. There's there's a a, a fine line that you you want to prevent the poor people from crossing okay 
no business. I am not aware of any business that's for profits, okay, that will promote poor people uh, to enter onto their property, okay? Only your, your not-for-profit businesses would promote something like um, suspended coffee, okay? They they don't yeah they don't they're not trying to grow their business. <laughs> if you if you want to shrink your business, start attracting the poor. Okay, start attracting the the people who are looking for free handouts. Okay.